On September 11, 2001, I was attending a university in New York. When the tragedy took place, like many, I wanted to find some way that I could help. A SUNY Geneseo student found a magical way to help the victims of September 11th. Now, after the September terror attacks, Jonathan decided to take his act on the road, performing for people on the street. And Jonathan's donating all the money people give him toward the Twin Towers Fund. Jonathan says it was a perfect way to put his first love magic to a positive use. I was followed by a camera crew, and I put together a film called Real Magic New York. Months later, the film premiered on IMAX and was then distributed to several universities throughout the country. In honor of the 10th anniversary of the tragedy, we have made this original special available online for the first time. I invite you to please enjoy Real Magic New York. Stuff. No funny stuff, of course not. Have a dollar bill for the naked cowboy. I take the bill, we're gonna fold it, just like this. Folding the bill for the naked cowboy. This is different, I've never done a uh, magic effect for the naked cowboy. You, just gonna remember, hypothermia it. can set in. <laughs> gonna fold it, and we're actually gonna start to unfold the bill like this. And you're gonna see that hopefully, this will be a little bit different than any other tip you got. We start with a one dollar bill, and you're gonna finally see that actually turns into a two. Think you can turn that into a hundred? Yeah, I could, but it takes a lot more energy than two. And that's for you. Hey, that was beautiful. For is the wonderful real? music. Yes, it is. Hey, thank you. The only I'm a naked cowboy coming to a town near you. Black magic. here at Bill Arenas in uh, Mount Kisco, New York. You are, your name is? Jimmy. Jimmy, and uh, you are, what, what's Partners with Dino. Partner with Dino in the store. Excellent. Um, what we're gonna do today is a very neat card effect. Okay. It's like this, we have lots of cards in the deck. You can see lots of cards. 52 probably, right? 52, yeah. exactly, very good. Have you done cards before? Yeah, I've done cards. Play poker maybe, you know? Yeah. You can just pick any card you'd like. Actually, I'm gonna spread them out right here. You can pick any one you'd like. I want you to look at your card, make sure you know what it is, and I actually want you to sign your name on the face of it. Sign your name on the card. Stick it back in the deck just like that. And we're gonna do a triple cut, just like this. And we're going to actually lose your card somewhere in the deck. We're gonna shuffle it up. If you just hit this button right here, it's a little switch, just like that, you'll see that it actually affects the deck in such a way that your card disappears. It'll actually disappear from the deck. It's gone, you see? So what was your card anyway? Oh, I can tell you now? Yeah, you can tell me. Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts. You see the Ace of Hearts is actually gone because since you're the uh, partner here, I'm actually going to give you a dollar right now right. because I'm going to buy a package of chips from you, okay? We have this package here. You can examine it. This is your package of chips. Let's see. Looks, All right. It's yeah. yours. <laughs> yeah. And we have this bowl right here. And I want you to open up the chips and pour them right out into that bowl, oh. right? Yeah, right? Hey, look at this guy. Is that your car? Yes, it is. <laughs> Good job, give me a dollar back there. <laughs> Good job. Hey, I'm just on from Seven Dust, and that's Morgan. And you're watching <laughs> Real Magic New York. Stay tuned, we'll be coming up. This man is a ninja right here. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm John, and you are I'm Matt. How Matt, you nice yeah. to meet you. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut. You're visiting for the day? Yeah. Yeah, just coming in, uh, coming to the city a lot. Liking Chill the out. sights, enjoying the city. I haven't seen the tree yet. This is the first I've seen the tree, so oh, really? well. kind of droopy. I'm not so good. <laughs> <laughs> what are we well, doing? we're gonna do a, a card effect for you today. I just want you to tell me to stop. Can at you make any the time. cold weather go away? I, I, no, I can't. All right, but, I'll but be, I'm gonna make you warm on the inside. I'll be laughing inside. All right, cool. Yes. Uh, here we go. Ready? Yep. Tell me to stop. All right, stop. Right there. Yep. Okay. The card underneath the three of spades. This is gonna be your card. I want you to look at it. All right. All right. Put it back. Yep. And I want you to shuffle up the deck. Oh Christ! I can't do that. Or try to shuffle. Or just mix and match. All right, there you go, All right? Excellent, just like that. That was pathetic. It's okay. Okay. It's fine. You can't I'm now gonna card. find your card. Okay. You can't remember? You no, got it? I can remember okay, it, yeah. Just kidding. That's it, right? No, that's definitely not it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good try, though. It was good to see you. <laughs> no, 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 I'll find it. Oh, all right, you think? That one, right? No. All right, you know what? It's cold, and my hands are tired, and I really can't do this, so yeah. instead, I want you to think of your card and almost like you can say it right now, the name of your card. Put it on the tip of your tongue. <laughs> tip of your tongue. Okay, and right yeah. here I have this glass, right. perfectly clear glass. And I'm just going to have you, you see how we're breathing out here? Yes. I want you just to breathe on the face of this glass, okay? Breathe on the glass. Just like that. <laughs> and you'll actually see. You want to breathe on it one more time? Yeah, sure. Right on the tip of your tongue comes right off. That's amazing. Onto the glass, just like that. Is that your card? That's my card. <laughs> That's great. What a trooper. Wow. Tanya, nice to meet you. You're the hostess here. I see hostess yes, life. I'm the hostess. <laughs> Do you have any like checks, like a, a guest check? I said, oh, right. I'm just gonna take one of these off right here, if you don't mind. I'm gonna be missing a check. Oh, there's hardly any. Oh, that's fine. Right here, we have a check. I'm just gonna crumple it up into a ball like this. <laughs> and we're gonna try and concentrate on it. See if we can get something cool to happen. Okay, we're gonna try and get something cool, but I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. We're gonna try and do this. If I just wave my hands like this. I actually get it to start to turn in my hand, actually levitate just like that. See it levitating. I can actually get it to float up like that and fall into my hand just like that. Is there like some secret thing you have to say to yourself? It's, it's concentration. you select a card. Okay, just pick a card. Any card you'd like. Look at your card. You got it? Okay, I want you to sign your name on the face of it. Don't let me see the card. Sign your name on the face though, okay? Face. On the face. Perfect. You can cap the marker. I'm not going to look at it. Okay, you got it? Now put it back in the deck anywhere you'd like. It's like that. Oh, that's perfect. Just like that. You want to shuffle the cards for us? Very nice. Cool. I'll do a little mid-air riffle shuffle here for you. Just like that. Neat little shuffle. We're actually, what we're going to try and do now is this. I'm going to take them. You see how they riffle just like this and they fly through the air? Fly. Just like that. I'm actually going to make the cards fly more. You're going to see now. Watch. See how they fly just like that. Did you catch it? Did you catch your card? You didn't. Why didn't you? <laughs> you didn't tell me to. Oh, uh, my mistake. Um, didn't catch. Well, actually, if we look behind us here, we have all these nice posters. We've got Vanilla Sky, We Were Soldiers, Kate and Leopold. Slackers over there, it looks like someone over there caught a card. When it, you see there's a card over right over here. I see it right here. Is that your card? Yeah, that is my card. 
That's your card right there. I'm gonna let you select it. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Would you just grab it out for us? Would you just grab a card? Stuff right there. Just grab it for us. It's uh, behind the it, glass. Wait, that's not possible though. Your card. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. Right, that's your signature? It's definitely my signature on the card. So my name's Howie Day. I want to play something too. Yeah. This is Howie Day, you're watching Real Magic New York. I'm Jonathan, you are? Mike Kelly. Mike. Excellent, nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. Excellent. And we're here, we got lots of donuts, lots of yes, sir. I love donuts. <laughs> I'm sure you do too. We're here. Yeah, I do. Um, what I have here is a deck of cards. It's not a donut, but okay. it's something fun and interesting anyway. You see that um, tons of different cards in here, they're all different. Okay. What I'm going to have you do now, though, is I'm just going to start riffling through them like this. I want you just to tell me to stop. Stop. Right there. Okay. The card underneath, the King of Spades, is your card. I want okay. you to look at your card. You see it? Yep. You got it? Got it. Okay. I want you to shuffle the deck. As long as it's well shuffled, we're good. Excellent. We'll actually put the deck down right there. Right. Now, I've had this envelope here the entire time. Now, that envelope actually includes something that is going to lead us to your card. You remember your card, right? It's going to lead us to your card. Would you open the envelope right now? You're actually going to see that something inside that envelope is going to lead us to your card. What do we have inside there? We have uh, two quarters. 75 cents. 65 cents. What can we buy for 65 cents? A donut. A donut. A glazed donut. Excellent. Could you pick out any glazed donut right off the conveyor belt? Any one. Perfect. And do you have a box also? I'm going to hold this donut right here. Wonderful. I'm going to open up the box. You're going to see that this donut, fresh off the conveyor belt, why did you pick this donut? Was there any in particular? You asked me to. Did is this the did this I ask you to pick this, this specific way we one? Give samples out. Okay, just it was a random donut right, right. off the conveyor belt. Excellent. We're gonna do this. I'm actually going to take the donut just like this. Alright. I'm gonna make it into a snowball, kind of. Okay. Which is really disgusting, but Alright. Do it anyway, just like this. You see I get a snowball out of the donut. <laughs> yes. See just like that. We have this okay. donut snowball. I'm gonna reach inside and hopefully. That's 65 cents bought us a donut. And inside this donut, we actually see, baked inside of it, a little streamer. We're gonna see what we can find on this streamer. We're gonna see, we're gonna pull it, pull it just like that. And we see, on the end of the streamer is a card. Would you open that up for us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that it right there? And the donut mess right here. That's it. <laughs> That was it? Yeah. Your donut right off the conveyor yes, belt. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'd shake your hand, but it's a little, uh, it's a little donut. What we're gonna do is this. We're gonna change something about the deck. We're actually gonna get your card to fly to the top, hopefully. Or something that leads us to your card. I don't know. I'm gonna try, okay? Set my fingers like that, and we're gonna turn over the card, and we see, is this your card? No, it was not. It's not your card. It's not leading us to your card, not that. Okay. Not even close. Okay, that's okay. If you just hold out one hand, just like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Ace of Spades anyway, okay? We have an Ace of Spades, I'm gonna just take it anyway, and I'm gonna stick it in your hand just like this, okay? Just wave my hand over it like that, I'm gonna take the next top card like this, I'm gonna just wave it, wave it, wave it, and I'm actually gonna get this to change into the Ace of Spades. Okay? It's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. And this is strange, but you know, like, have you ever signed a contract before and you have to read the fine print? Yeah. You have to see, you have to really see? Well, right here, there's fine print on the card. You can see there's really fine. It's hard to read. Can you read that out loud? 
Oh my god. <laughs> what does it say? I know you chose the Queen of Hearts. Is that the card you chose? It is the Queen of Hearts. If I go like this, way my hand over that card actually. Chances are changes to your card, the Queen of Hearts. Holy mother of pearl. <laughs> Blow me away, why don't you? <laughs> that is awesome. Can you tell us about your tattoos, if there's one that has a story or something behind it? You know, like so, one that you have in particular that's... No, Jesus Christ, just because it's something I've, I've always been believing in and I pray to the Lord every night and that means a lot to me. And it was done freehand, so I think wow. that's kind of magic too because the guy didn't put a silk on me, just do them on my own. I forgot this one, that one might be a little bit right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Right there. <laughs> I got mom. Oh, wow. I got my wife. That way, if she leaves me, you know, I can say that it means egg foo yon on the side of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, if you could just tell me when to stop at any time. Stop. Right there? Okay, the card underneath the ten of spades, okay? This is going to be your card. I want you to look at it, let yourself know. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. Just like that. All right, check this out. You can actually shuffle the deck if you'd like. Just get it all mixed up. Lose it in there. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We're going to lose it and then you can actually put it back in the box too if you want. Okay, I'm going to get it in there. I'm going to try and pull your card. We're going to do the reverse of what I just did for you. You told me the card out of your mind, you know, and now I'm going to try and pull your card out of my mind. Okay? You just picked a card. This is kind of strange. This is really weird. I'm going to try and... I'm seeing a, a black card. I'm seeing a black one. Okay? That must mean it's black. <laughs> That's just my favorite color. Right. Seeing, seeing, actually I'm seeing something that relates to the band. I'm seeing a seven, which is really cool. That's good. A seven of spades, is that right? Yeah, you're right. Just That's really. Which is, which is kind of cool too, because I actually have a seven of spades on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's and I have a bigger one on this arm too. That is really cool. <laughs> that weirds me out, man. Wow. <laughs> It's kind of cool. How the hell is that happen? Slide a hand thing too. You can get the card disappear like that. Do it again. Just like that. Comes back like that. Let me do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Let me do it again. Like that. Comes back. It's, like it's kind of cool. You just after a while, just learning. Man, I know we're gonna be seeing a lot of you. Honestly, I feel like Angel's Son is a song that's deal with loss, you know, losing a loved one in a mother's eyes. You know, if people look at it from losing a brother to a cousin to a best friend to even their dog, you know, uh, just someone that's close to you. I think definitely with everything that happened on September 11th, uh, this song was able to uh, help a lot of people through it, you know, and through different losses. And, I stand behind it, so I um, hope you enjoy it. The department. Uh, three and a half years. Three and a half years you are? Rock Kowalski. Rock, nice to meet you. How long have you been in the department? Three and a half years. Wow, excellent. Yourself? Steve, Steve McMahon, four yeah. and a half years. Four and a half years and? Dave Wright, about a year. About a year now. Excellent. We have a safe over here. 
on the ground. It's a fireproof safe. Dave, what do you know about this safe? Have you uh, have you seen these safes before? Yeah, they're uh, fireproof, waterproof, smokeproof. Uh, yeah. Do you own one yourself? Yeah, I do. I have one in my house. The whole family has one. They do what they're supposed to do. Keep your bowling safe and dry. Excellent. Wonderful. We're going to use this today. What I'd like you to do is I just want you to attach the safe. I don't actually want to touch it to this right here, this clamp. We're going to actually raise this up now and it's going to be above us, raising up the safe. I want you to make sure that I don't come in contact with that safe at any time. I want you to keep your eyes on it. Make sure no one can touch it. Make sure that it's free up there and that nothing can actually affect the safe, okay? That's your job, stay on it. And we're gonna come over here, and we'll also notice on the ground here, we have this line formed by a parking lot, parking space. I'm not gonna cross this line at any time during the rest of the effect. We're gonna leave this line here. Um, I'm actually gonna have uh, participation here. What is your name? Jason Rudnitsky. How long have you been with the department? Uh, about a year and a half. About a year and a half. You like it? Have fun? Fire is fun. Look at this. <laughs> Excellent. Do you have a dollar bill on you by any yes. chance? Uh, could you get it out for, for us? Wonderful. Right here, we have your dollar bill, right? Your dollar bill. As we know, every dollar bill has a unique serial number. They list it here in the top right, and they list it here in the bottom left. They list it twice on the bill. I would like you just to take this bill, nice and big, fat letters, write down the serial number of the bill right onto this board right here. Excellent. Now if you could please just take the bill, I want you to take the bill like this and rip it in half. Go ahead, rip, rip it right down the middle in half. Just show it to the camera, do it right here. Just gonna rip it in half. Perfect, excellent. All right, now, now that we've gotten you to commit a crime, I'm gonna join you and I'm gonna rip the bill in half too. Just like that. Now obviously, uh, you, you do this yourself, you rip the bill. We want to make sure, I want you to make sure though, I don't want to, uh, I want you to make sure here that the uh, serial numbers on the bill have not changed. It is the, exactly the same bill as before. That is your piece, you're gonna hold on to it. All right, what we're gonna do now, I have these tongs, and I have this nice kitchen lighter. I'm gonna hold the bill in these tongs just like this, you can see here's the other part of the bill that has the serial number on it, the bottom part. Yep. It's the same one, right? Yes. Same, right there. I want you to actually burn the bill now. So now we've already ripped it, now we're gonna burn it. So you're gonna burn the bill now until it no longer exists. Have you ever burned a dollar bill before? No, because I don't wanna waste money. <laughs> burning the bill. Serial numbers are burning away. Your bill is no longer in existence here. Actually, there's still a part left in the middle if you want to burn that off too. Just like that. Burn that in there, just like that. You can see that the bill is now burning away. Be nothing left of it. Just like that, we actually burn the bill, just like this. And if you want to stamp it out for us, your bill no longer exists, except for the piece that you still hold in your hand. A receipt for the burning of the bill. Pretty neat, huh? We've just burnt, we just destroyed a bill tonight. This is great. No, but this is a serious effect, because what we're about to do is amazing. Because as that bill burned and the smoke rise, it is actually reformed inside of that safe, believe it or not. It really has, it has. If we could bring the safe down again, if we could bring it down again, we're gonna bring the safe down. I have the key to the safe. I'm gonna throw it over to you. Give you the key. I'm not gonna cross the line, but I'm gonna have him take the safe off. And I'm gonna have you open the safe. What do you see inside? Boxes. Right there, excellent. Would you take the box out and would you open it? What do you see inside of there? 
black case. Would you take that out, please? Would you hand that to the next person next to you there? Would you open that box, please? There's a sticker on the top. You can open it there. And would you pass the contents to the next person? Would you open that box? And pass the contents on to the next person. And you can open that box right there. What do you see there? Another box. Can you open the flap? There's a flap on the box. There's a, on the top of it, just the top. What do you see inside? A dollar bill. A dollar bill. Excellent. Take the bill out of the box. You can open it right up there. You can take the bill out. Excellent. Is it a whole bill? No. It's missing a section. Would you read aloud the serial numbers of this bill? F495381. Is that the same exact serial number as what you see there? Oh. Oh. Yes. Would you bring the bill over? You have not crossed this line, is that correct? Oh. All right, would you see if the bill matches right there? You ripped this bill up, you burnt the bill. Does it match? Does it match exactly? Oh. This is too freaky. This is too freaky. How the hell? Does it match? Yeah. I'm going to show it to the camera one more time. We can see that the bill. And that fits perfectly. That's wild. That's nuts. Can I tell you, let's think of all the different reasons why that's so okay. insane. First of all, not because you had almost no, you almost had no physical interaction with any of the, uh, the main elements of the trick. Right. The only physical interaction you had was a secondary tear mm -hmm. on the bill and then uh, holding it in the tongs and burning it. Right. Um, but even he kind of was involved in that. Yeah. Um, the most amazing thing about that trick isn't just the bill reappearing in the thing, but the fact that that tear, that, that piece is missing, because that wasn't even how he tore it at first. You're right. He tore it in half. Mm -hmm. So it was reassembled. Yeah. I hope people realize that when they see that, because it wasn't like, it wasn't like you tore it in half and then that other, there was two halves. It was, that tear never even happened like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was never a, uh, there was never a time when he tore out a piece of the bill like that, mm -hmm. a corner. That's insane. Congratulations <laughs> on that. You, That's a real accomplishment.